Hello, Internet! I'm Amsterdam. Shabon. And I'm Kimothy. She's joining me for this one. This is one of those uh, vlog videos where I just sit here and talk vlog, about... Vlog, like that's a word. <laughs> yes, it's a word. <laughs> you t it's like video blog I know. Vlog Continue. thing. Whatever. I sit here and, and I deal with the fact that I haven't gotten to record for a very long time. And I tell them up-to-date stuff. I know. Like, guess what, everybody? My computer died. It's been a long time since I've been able to do anything. You didn't die, you just decided to, uh... No, basically my motherboard melted. Fix it. My yeah. motherboard basically melted, and we found out that uh, my graphics card was basically melting my motherboard, and that's why my wireless didn't work. And it goes on. So I had to buy another motherboard. I took the dang thing it's apart a very myself. Long story. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm gonna try and expedite this. Okay. I had to basically take my computer apart and put it back together again with new parts, and it took weeks, and it took about $200. So, um, yeah. It's much better, but, uh, yeah, now Kim and I have, like, no money, and there's a lot of really cool games coming out this year, and I don't know if we can afford them. So, there's that. There's that news. Um, also, sad news all of our fish are gone. We're gonna. I, I didn't even get the chance to make the vlog video to show you guys our fish. We're gonna. It's upsetting. Yeah, that's like another two hundred dollars of just living fish. So we're really not doing well financially right now. And I'm about to. We keep start making very bad later. investments, apparently. <laughs> well, no, I needed this, and uh, the fish fish thing's complicated too. But anyway, for today, I've got a few things that have come in the mail from the PO box. I'm gonna open these today. And um, in a different video, I'm gonna open, but just wanna make sure you guys know this is here. We've got a much bigger thing. I'm gonna make it its own video just because it's physically large. It's large. Um, I believe this came from Lura, so uh, that's gonna be fun. Um, the first one I got here, because I'm assuming I got like Q Charm, Q -Charm games, games and three Q Charm games. It looks like. Um, uh, maybe. Let's it, see. I'm not sure because uh, none of these are Q Charm games, really obvious. Well, it, <laughs> I know somebody was saying they wanted to send me a. Uh, a gift, which will be cool if it surprises you with that. Here's a letter. I should probably see this first. Oh, I thought that was an envelope inside of an envelope. <laughs> no, it's just a piece of paper. It's, it actually has um, the P.O. Box address written on it. Kind of odd. Uh, from James. Uh, it's just your return address, <laughs> return address sent uh, for uh, cute charm. All right, awesome. I, like I said, um, also, well, actually, I didn't even say this. Um, while I was waiting for everything to come in for my computer, uh, Kim and I were even out of the state for, geez, what, uh, the majority of the week? Like, like five, five days? days like yeah. five days. Um, so I haven't even physically been here for the longest time. Um, so these may be Q-Charm games, and I'm going to try and get these back to you guys as soon as I can. Um, Quick turn around, right? I'm trying. I, I'm doing my best here. Get it, um, get yeah, this should be yeah. platinum. I like uh, confirming that these things are good. Um, I, I good as in it will work. It's an English copy. For, right, okay. And the way to find out, I found a way to do this, by the way. Um, if you... Oh, it's thought it said platinum. Whatever, it's diamond. Um, if you uh, look up online what the English or US uh, ID code is for your Pokemon 4th Gen game is... It's actually printed in black on the back of your cartridge. So you can confirm, even though the front, the ID looks, it says USA, some of those are actually Australian. Australian. If you check that code, that code will tell you. So um, in other related news, I'm still making these. <laughs> and these really help us out because we, like, obviously with the computer thing, that's hamster bomb funds. That was, like, emergency stuff. These basically paid for it, so we really, right. really do need this. We're so mostly using the thank money thank you for guys so much. Fun things for the channel. Yes, I, I am. Can you wrap that back up in there? Well, it's a little piece of foam. Oh, this was their case. Oh, well, I, this they can go in there. They wrapped it so nicely. They did. You're right. Um, this, uh, the return address is in there, so I'm not going to need this. So, <laughs> thank you so much. Um, gosh, I already forgot your name. I'm sorry. Was James. it James? Thanks, James. These really do help us out. Like I said. So, uh, if anybody else wants cute truck games, please, it'd be a wonderful time. You'd be saving us. <laughs> this is, like, the only thing I could rely on because I'm still unemployed. <sighs> we have, um, uh, another one here. Or another, um, thing that came in the mail. 
Uh, could be a Q charm game. I know I was getting lots of emails from you guys <laughs> when about. We were out of state. <laughs> yeah, uh, about potential Q charm games. Looks like a uh, Pokemon, Platinum. very sparkly, uh, platinum game. And let's see who this is for. Uh, we got a letter here. Yay! Um, hi, Hamster Mom. I've been a fan of your channel for a while now and finally had the means to get my own cute charmified games. I hope that both of the games made it to you safely. Oh, there are two in there. Where's the second one? Oh, there's one in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just... <laughs> we have a platinum and heart and soul silver. Ooh, soul nice. Silver. Got one from uh, each region. Um, I hope that both of the games made it to you safely and you don't have any problems with them. Thank you again for doing this. I can't wait to have my own cute charm adventures from Marissa. Thank you so much, Marissa. It's like like I said, perfect timing. And man, you picked you picked two good ones. Platinum is definitely the best of the Sinnoh ones. Um, um aside it's, from the fact that you get the most amount of Pokemon. Yeah, that's they fixed a lot of the the slowness in that too. It's it's it runs a lot better. And either Heart Gold or Soul Silver are awesome games. So thank you so much. I hope you love them. I'm gonna try and get these back to you guys as soon as I can. Oh, uh, was there a return address on that? We should keep this with it just in case. I mean, if you guys don't really need to put them on here, I'll send it back to whatever um, the mail said uh, it came from. <laughs> no, like the, the package. The like package. clearly, you have access whatever to that mailbox. The return address is. Yeah, that's what I said. A name for it. That's what I said. <laughs> I'm really excited to open Laura's next time. It's a gigantic box. It is a really big box, and. Uh, Q charm. <laughs> it's a giant Q charm. It looks like. 400 Q charm. That, that'd actually be great. Like, I would gladly sit here and make 400. Uh, well, it would take me days. I would make 400 <laughs> Q charms. But still. And then she spins them around and sells them for more. Honestly, I wouldn't even care if someone did that. Like, spun them around and sold them for more. Like, I really don't care. Um, what the? Okay, so I've opened this up, and inside of this container, which says it's from Morgan. Um, which could be the sender. Sometimes it's someone's parent. I know. Yeah. Um. It's folded cardboard inside here is an envelope, which just says <laughs> a mysterious letter from Morgan. If we can see that, it's all we got. A mysterious from Morgan. Oh. Okay. Let me open this up. And inside here we have another envelope. <laughs> and this one. <laughs> Yeah, you should start putting as many envelopes as you can inside. I get envelopes. fascinated with them. Ooh, ooh, so much to write. Oh, cool. Oh yes. Um, so there's actually a cute charm here for me to make for you too. Um, so this is Morgan. This also, I think. Um, see, people have uh, this strange tendency, Kim, of having actual human names. See, when I know them online, their names are like. RNG Glaceon, <laughs> or um, you, you know what I mean, like Atomic Thomas. You know, as far as far as I'm concerned, that was their birth name. So it, it throws me for a loop when someone sends me something and I was talking with them online and their name was not Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? This Morgan. mysterious Morgan. So the Pokemon Pearl game that I'm holding right now is actually a gift from Morgan. Morgan was actually giving me a shiny Chimchar that they had just shiny hunted in their Pokemon Platinum game and traded over to the Pearl as a gift. So I'm super thankful. That's so awesome. Thank you so much, Morgan. I'm so excited to put it into the living decks. Either way, I've got a letter to read and another uh, gift that should be right here because we were talking about that for the longest time. <clears throat> Dear Alex from Morgan, a.k.a. MK Scorpion. See? <laughs> that was your God-given name. <laughs> of MK course. Scorpion. Yeah, your parents popped you out and they signed MK Scorpion on the birth certificate and then on YouTube, you just decided to come up with the silly name of Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Um, I hope you enjoy the game, Alex, and I just meant to say thanks, and I really hope you uh, get back on your feet and do much better. Uh, this game work... Uh, Oh, worked before I checked, but it is used. I hope you enjoy... Okay, I... Oh, 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 you're talking about um this, the gift. So I guess uh, you don't mention in here. So, Kim, look. This is... um. Is that a Link Between Worlds? Yeah, that's Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds. That's the one you've been wanting to play yeah, this for, is like, the one a I've very been... long time. Yes, <laughs> this is the one I've been wanting to play for a very long time. So thank you so much. This is basically, like, their remake of my favorite Zelda game. So I'm so excited. My very first Zelda game I ever played was actually... It has a lot of different um, gimmicks, though, than that does. 
Oh, yeah, for sure. And they changed a lot of it, too. Like, uh, you don't get a lot of the items from the temples anymore. I think you actually purchased them. They were, like, on their way to making a Breath of the Wild-style game. From what I hear, I really don't know much about it. Plus, it's basically Paper Mario mixed in, too. Like, and you, you were like, why would I spoil a Zelda game? I'm going to play it anyway. I know. I'm trying not to look in it because I really want to play it. There's a letter that they wrote, and I'm still oh, trying okay, to read it. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, I checked its use, but I hope you enjoy it. I just want to thank you uh, for always putting out such wonderful content on your channel. They think it's wonderful content. <laughs> You are so confused. I make deliberately, oh gosh. Boring commentary. My, <laughs> right, that, she quoted me on that one. You, you found that one in a Monster Hunter? It was a Monster Hunter. It was in Monster. I said, uh, I, I just sit here and make boring commentary. <laughs> but, I uh, provi no, it was I provide commentary for boring, for easy quests. <laughs> whatever it was. I don't know. One of the Monster Hunter montages, Kim makes like, all the montages and she finishes it sends it to me and i just put like words and pictures on it and then it. of course i've watched it like 20 times by that point yeah. so i remembered like all <laughs> she's her own quotes. biggest fan <laughs> I, i'm i can't even finish this sentence okay, and i'm sorry, in like the f i'm i'm this far no, 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 no. <laughs> um anyway um on your channel and i hope everything works out for you if i remember uh there should be another game other than link between worlds you can uh, use for it on the channel if you want, but if I forgot, sorry, and I just want to say I hope everything works out and you get a uh, very good job that doesn't screw you over and pays well. <laughs> you know my history right there. <laughs> uh, I hope you have a good day and you get back on your feet. Have a good day. You are the best ever. Sincerely, Morgan, a.k.a. MK Scorpion. P.S. Sorry for bad spelling. Bad spelling? No. You didn't, what did you spell? What? I was able to... I, I was fine. Uh, but thank you so much. This, this is so nice. Uh, aside so from the fact that... that's not a game? Well, here. Oh, wait. Is this? No, this is... Good question. Um, Is this a Q-Charm game? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to check PayPal. I don't remember. Because um, if this was a donation, that's super nice of you and thank you. Um, what would actually be really cool if it is, and this would be horrifying for, uh, uh, Morgan if, like, this is a cute charm game and I'm about to say what I'm about to say. <laughs> then don't! Maybe I shouldn't? Because I don't know if it was a gift or not! <laughs> Such a cryptic letter. Um, from this mysterious, the Morgan. Remember the- The Morgan. <laughs> the Morgan. <laughs> Why did you put that? <laughs> I'm really, I'm really so excited to play this, and this came at like a perfect time too because I want to point this just out. Just finished Odyssey. Just yesterday, and of <laughs> course you guys know I play games in advance, and I could not help myself. I played the living crap out of Mario Odyssey. It's such a great game. They're seeing right now. I think two episodes are live of Mario Odyssey. Wait, that's it? <laughs> yes, that's it. You played the crap out of that game. I played the crap out of that game. <laughs> I have. I'm not kidding. Kim can attest to it. I have 100% Mario Odyssey. I got all purple coins from every world and every single moon from every world, last including night, the darker side of the moon, which is the gauntlet. Last night, I came home to find him farming coins in Mario Odyssey, and he was like, oh, well, I just finished the game. I, and I was like, what are finished, you farming coins Yeah, by finished for? the game, I mean, I did Everything. 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 You There's had nothing no left to do. Need to farm coins, but the, you're doing yeah. it for like an hour. Yeah, but the only reason <laughs> to farm coins was to get more outfits, and the outfits cost like three thousand and five thousand. It's insane. I thought you got all of the outfits though. No, they keep adding them. Okay, then farming they coins keep DLC. is okay. <laughs> <laughs> they keep adding them, and it'll never end. Um, was that all three? I think we got yes, them all. Yes, that's all. Okay, um, exactly. okay, so anyway, we're gonna. What are you? What are you doing Input, here? Please. And, oh, yes. Kim, if it weren't for Kim, I would totally be screwing up your Q-Charm games. She keeps these so organized. <laughs> and I screw this up. Where'd the Zelda game go? I just sat it in here. Why'd okay? you put it in there? Okay, I just put it in there, okay? Watch, like, okay. if it was a Q-Charm game, we talked that and it accidentally gets sent back. <laughs> no! Because <laughs> we were trying to get this sorted out for such a long time. Originally, they, um, they tried to send their own copy, and it got lost in the mail. And they went out and got a used one from GameStop or wherever to send to me because they promised they'd send me one and it got lost in the mail. So that felt so bad. That's awful. That's so nice, though. People are so nice. They make me feel better. When everything's going wrong out there I and in this either. box right here, in this 
computer box. If it wasn't for all of your help that you guys give us, he and would Charm games. not be able to keep doing yeah, what no, he is doing on right. YouTube right it, now. I am not exaggerating when I say that the Q-Charm games keep this channel alive. Quite literally in the past month, because that... The videos would have just stopped. <laughs> like, I would have been able to do nothing. I was considering doing a live stream from my phone because that was the only way I could explain to you guys what was happening because I don't have a computer with that thing gone. It so, was dead. Yes. It was deceased. <laughs> like, on fire. Pieces everywhere. There's still, the pe there's still pieces everywhere and cables all over my room. sitting over there. Yeah, I got a motherboard laying in my room. And by the way, I've never taken a motherboard apart in my life. <laughs> I just, like, took a photo and was like, I'm just going to figure it out. Seems like a safe idea. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that at home. <laughs> I've opened this thing up so many times to try and figure out how to get it to work anyway, this so. This computer is no longer the computer it used to be. Oh, oh. Because <laughs> I told them about that story. Yes. Because, like, um, maybe, like, eight to ten years now, I bought, like, a Dell Tower. It was horrible. I had so many problems with it. And um, whenever I thought I was fixing the problem with it to make it run better... I caused another problem <laughs> and was slowly, I mean, I guess this is good, slowly learning how to take your computer apart and what parts do what and how expensive some things are, how to compromise, what they need. Um, so now I can do that, but um, at knows, the same time. Next month it might be like, oh. But I gradually replaced every single part from the original machine, including the case. It is not the same computer. So now he's going to actually build, rebuild the old computer. Yeah, I'm going to Frankenstein it back together again. <laughs> If I give the hard drive back, because technically the original hard drive I put in an empty slot in there, and uh, I can if you're using it, I can dual boot to it, but it sucks. Well, the one so. in there has a hard drive. But it's it. amazing that I was even running off that. And as of yet, like as I'm filming this, I have still not gotten to play one of my uh, uh, computer games. For example, say Witcher Three, um, or Metal Gear, or anything like that. Off the computer. I bet it's going to run so much better. Oh, it's going to look so much better. I know. Better. And uh, big news people wanted us to talk about, um, and I'm still big not news? sure about this. Well, big news. if I had money, it would have been big news. Monster <laughs> Hunter World PC finally has a release date. Oh, it does. I didn't know August that. August 9th, which is actually very soon. But that's like another 60 bucks. Unless they keep the cheaper price, because I know uh, Capcom... GameStop or something is having a sale for like. Is it just gonna be like thirty? Like by the way, you can get it for like something? thirty right now. Can I get it like down? Like Steam? From yeah, you yeah. can play on Steam. Yeah. That's gonna be like cheaper than going and buying the PC version. It de I don't know. No, 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 no. What are you talking about? The PC version of Monster Hunter World. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. I could just download it somewhere, and that's gonna be cheaper than going out and buying like a. Disc. Well, does who, it come as a disc anymore? Well, here's the thing: who posts it will be Capcom, so it's still gonna be local. No, I. No one has discs anymore. <laughs> No, do you, do they do that <laughs> still? Disk drive. <laughs> Ever since Valve made Steam, the just discs just went away. <laughs> I don't know. It, it was like, what's so confusing is like the evolution of video games. Like you expect to see like uh you know like the evolution of Man Thing where they slowly stand up, but it like goes from like a floppy disk cartridge CD cartridge. <laughs> it goes back down again. Like, and then it's Steam where it's like missing. <laughs> it's, just, it's just not there. But anyway, before we let this thing go oh. on forever, I, I I gotta end this. But we, we got another really one to do. Guys, we beat Overcooked. <laughs> oh yeah, we, we regret not playing that with you guys because it's so much fun. Maybe we'll do a live stream or something with it eventually, like a live stream fundraiser. But we got good. That would be fun. A live stream fundraiser and Overcooked. We still have to do the two DLC. Yeah, we. I uh, I got um for it was actually not too much when I got it. It was like like fifteen. Uh, 20? fifteen for the special edition. It was on uh just the Switch da digital download. Um, I don't want to do a lot of digital downloads because that space will fill up quickly. But it was like half off what the physical cartridge cost. So I was like, whatever. Um, but yeah, we played all of Overcooked. We finally beat the final boss. It was. That's so much it was fun. so fun. <laughs> um, I love that game. We have, like, we have a stupid amount of stars. What do we have, like, 80-something? <laughs> no, 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 no. 80, no, there's 90 total. Yeah, we have 80-something. We're we only like missing... 85. Yeah, we're missing, like, like five or six stars. Like, we three-starred everything. But uh, we did not play 
the last morsel or uh, festive, festive seasoning. So, so we could definitely do that as like a stream as or something. Live streams, something. yeah. So that could be like a fun uh, live stream Warning fundraiser you, there's thing. there's a lot of yelling and... Oh yeah, there's going to be a lot of yelling. It's a it's a frantic game. <laughs> no and uh, cursing, I'm no, really not us. <laughs> no, But I'm really excited for Overcooked 2, which of all of the games, you know, whatever, let's just do this. Um, of all of the games that I'm really excited about coming out soon, um, Overcooked 2 comes out the soonest. I don't know um, if we're going to be able to play See, the that. Thing is if like, we pre-order it, we get beautiful DLC. Right. What do you like, get? Like you get like a walrus with a, a and monocle. And a yeah. walrus with a monocle. And... Uh, there's the, it's just aesthetic stuff, but it's funny. Um, so aside from this, there's obviously uh, there's Super Smash Brothers. I'm super excited about. That's gonna be coming out like December seventh. Pretty sure that's the farthest one out. There's so many games but coming out just this so year. Excited about I'm that. so excited about Smash Brothers. You've like, been playing Smash Brothers like nonstop. I know since they the know. donated <laughs> one for my 3DS. I'm like, I'm playing it so much. Like, I need to know these characters and now. And then you went back and you played your brawl and your melee and for hours. You've I did been nonstop playing this. I did. I uh, and I check their website every day. Um, well, because like for brawl, they made this website called Smash Brothers Dojo, and every day they would update it with like some new thing, and they would show you like a new assist trophy or a new Pokeball or something like that. Uh, but anyway, aside from that, uh, Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate for the Switch is going to be coming out on August 28th. Um, how that's going to work out with... There's a calendar this what, Yeah, I'm looking at my, my calendar of the videos I upload scheduled. Um, I, I'm not sure how that's going to fit in because I can guarantee you um, for September and October already, Monster Hunter World goes up three times a week. I, put, I blasted it back up to its original... Um, schedule of super fast because i was playing too much of it <laughs> i'm saved in front of fighting nerd gigante right now and i was like i gotta stop <laughs> and i had to back away oh and then you played mario odyssey and then instead. i played yeah well, i played the crap in mario <laughs> odyssey instead um i mentioned overcooked 2 um i'm thinking um what do you tell me what you think about this uh because uh pokemon let's go eevee is the game we also want to play yes. soon um comes out november 16th we do want to play that for the channel. Kim and I will do a duo Let's we Play. We don't have to buy two games! <laughs> but here's what I wanted to ask you guys. So, uh, and mostly you. Um, so if we get the uh, combo pack that comes with the Pokeball Plus, it's 100. And that gives you the extra controller with the Pokeball. It's a frowny face. Or, this is the much more expensive option. We just get Let's Go Eevee and get the extra pair of Joy-Cons, which is like, that's like an extra $70. Why do we need an extra pair of Joy-Cons? Because well, you're probably going to want the other game that comes out, which is Super Mario Party. Oh, uh, yeah. And you're going to want more <laughs> controllers. Wait, how does the $100 one get us an extra pair of Joy-Cons? It gets you a... The Pokeball is a Joy-Con. I can't use that on Mario Party. See, that's why I mentioned it. Okay, so anyway, um, Super Mario Party, by the way, comes out October 5th. Unless we had, like... An insane surplus of funds, or if someone uh, donated it, uh, that'd be awesome. So There's we're actually just gonna ask for it for Christmas. For That's I know she's probably. But there is a link, by the way, in the description of this video. If you guys want to help us out, we'd be super thankful. There is a link in the description of this video where you can go down and find a wish list that we have made, and it'll actually show you all these games that we want to play for the channel, but we can't afford to, and uh, it'll basically let you donate it for the channel. And Yo, can you just donate a certain amount towards that game? That's basically what it does. Okay. Um, what it does is it fetches the exact price from Amazon, and then it basically lets you pay through, like, PayPal or however you want that net amount, and it that goes to us. And technically, we could use it on anything, but I'm obviously going to use it toward <laughs> what I asked for. Right. Because I need that thing for the channel. So, um, other than that, yeah, there's, there's so many coming out just this year and then of course there's i'm assuming next year metroid prime 4 uh, like they this... didn't announce anything about it though this year at e3 so who knows? i know i'm ex i'm hoping the vgas they'll say they, something they, they, they might i'm say hoping something because it's been over a year since they've told us so that's that's pokemon they let's go make you wait for 10 years i'm sure they can make you wait another at least five <laughs> right like, like i don't know what you guys want to see in terms of the rest of this year for the channel that's what i really you know want to know want pokemon right well that comes out late november See, that would only be like a month of getting that. So I, I know we're going to play Pokemon if we can afford it. That's another thing. So we're probably going to do the Overcooked uh, fundraiser to try and afford it. So um, there's Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, late November. 
Super Mario Party, early October. Do you guys want a series of Super Mario Party? I don't know. <laughs> I kind of just want it as a fun party game, because, you know... That is a fun party game. Party. <laughs> um, uh, the Joy-Cons would be awesome if we had more people, which would make for really fun videos if we had four people playing. Uh, there's Overcooked 2, August 7th. That's earlier. Do you guys want to see Overcooked 2 on the channel? I think they need to see us how we play Overcooked. Maybe. We'll see how Overcooked goes on a live stream. Um, I already know you guys want Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Uh, there's even been a donation to completely cover this by Atomic Thomas. And um, we're going to make sure that we get a hold of that game. Uh, that comes out a late August, though. Um, but like I said, for the channel's, like, Monster Hunter cover time is, like, September and October, I've, like, covered, covered the floor with Monster Hunter World, so I'm not sure if, like, we have to wait a little bit on Generations. Might make it a little easier on us, and we start, like, after October, if that's okay. Plus, because I say that because I don't want the channel to be, like, swarmed with Monster Hunter stuff and people who aren't a fan of Monster Hunter go, you know, like... You gotta keep up your Pokemon. And still, words. Monster Hunter World, yeah. And, well, Monster Hunter World's still the big thing. Um, Super Smash Brothers, I'm super excited about. What I'm thinking about doing is doing, like, um, an episode series where I go, like, uh, each... Through the campaign? Uh, well, maybe classic mode or something, but I play through each character, because they've numbered them now. I'll play through each character, go through all of them, which means it's gonna end on Ridley. I'm like, I wanna play Ridley first, but alas, Ridley will, Ridley will be last. Which also means I have to play with, like... One episode's gotta be, like, the me character with a gun. The me character with a sword. <laughs> then the me character with... I, I'm not sure how I'm gonna handle that, but we'll see. Um, uh, yeah, it's basically all I was looking at there. There's so much that I clearly needed to tell you guys. It's been 30 minutes, and I didn't even get to open Laura's giant box. So, we're gonna have another video. Uh, Kim and I is sitting right here, later, and... I don't know when it's coming up. I don't even know when this is going up because I'm really busy right now. <laughs> and my computer just came back to life. Like, I, before this video came up, Where? I was... <laughs> I, yes, I was actually giving it resuscitation, trying to pull the darn thing back it's to so life again. It's quiet now. I know. I would pick up my mic and move it over there, but, like, I don't even trust my mic. Is my mic even working? Like, I, this is the first video <laughs> I am making... Here? With this working, yeah. I will test it tomorrow. <laughs> oh, another fun thing. Another fun thing. I swear, this is the last thing. Um, so I, uh, since I was doing that gauntlet of the darker side thing, um, I was, I, I think I told you guys earlier that Matt really hurt his leg, and I've been, like, like kind of, not really live streaming with him, but basically, like, screen sharing a full screen of me playing games, and we're talking while we're playing something, like, I'm playing something. So I was, like, doing that with Matt. Another thing I did earlier... Um, that I was mentioning we could do as a live stream, but now it's it's okay because I finished it, uh, was uh, Metroid Samus Returns. Um, I did finally beat Ridley on Fusion Hard Mode. <laughs> that was evil. <laughs> but I did it. And it's done. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I, th I think Mario the Darker Side actually took me longer to beat, though. <laughs> That was I saw evil. you playing the regular dark side, and I could believe that oh, the, the dark, darker side. The darker really side. The darker side is just one giant level, and to beat it normally takes you about like fifteen minutes to go one round. And if you die at any point in it, you start over at the beginning. It's hard. It's brutal. You didn't even see it. I, was I just... saw your dark side one. Oh yeah, dark side is evil too, but darker side is cruel. Um, but uh, anyway. I swear I'm done. I didn't get to. I like. I clearly so, need to stream. Thank you. All so I much really for need to stream. Watching. We'll probably do that later. Yes. Should you do this? <laughs> do you know my outro by now? Let's so, let you do this. Um. <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to remember to sub like and subscribe. And we'll see you all in the next vlog video. Whatever. That's good enough. See ya. <laughs> see ya. <laughs>give you a hamster bomb award for that one Yay. it goes right here it's a little pin just kidding it's where's a pin on my the back. stickers you got plenty of stickers i don't stickers. know where they are <laughs>